Hi everybody, it's Drew for Prepare for Collapse. Today I want to talk about an important part of preparedness planning that I use and I recommend everybody in the United States uses, and that would be a national weather radio receiver with the same alert capability. What national weather radio is, is a system of 1,025 VHF transmitters. They operate on seven different frequencies, uh, around 162 megahertz, and they're operated by NOAA. Uh, that's the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. Now, NOAA is an agency uh, of the federal government uh, that's funded by U.S. tax dollars, and this system of radio transmitters they operate uh, really does three things. It, it transmits um, current weather conditions, uh, it transmits weather forecasts and other weather-related information, and it serves as part of the Emergency Alert System, or the EAS. And the specific aspect I want to talk to you today about is the EAS. Now, there's an element of the EAS and National Weather Radio for specific area message encoding. And what specific area message encoding is, is a system uh, that allows your National Weather Service radio uh, to be activated by a data burst transmission. If you've ever heard the emergency alert test broadcasts uh, on your local radio station or on your local television station, that little data burst, that blip blip sound or that burp burp sound that you hear at the beginning, that's part of the encoding that will be in an EAS transmission. And that data burst encoding, uh, when it's received by a National Weather Service radio that's been programmed with the appropriate six digit code, then it will activate that radio and the radio will begin to uh, play the uh, alert that's being transmitted over the uh, National Weather Radio system. So what will happen is you can have your radio, and the one that I use, um, I do not recommend anybody buy this as a National Weather Radio. This is a trunking scanner made by Uniden. It's uh, one of the Bearcat series. Um, this is way overkill for what you need for a National Weather Radio. You can buy ones that are much cheaper than this. This radio has the capability to receive uh, National Weather Radio same encoded transmissions. Uh, so the way you find that is you go to the National uh, Weather Radio website. It's uh, I believe weather.gov, www.weather.gov uh, slash NWR and there should be a link on that page that will take you to same encoding. If it's not there you can just Google search same codes or uh, same alert codes and it'll take you to a uh, uh, website. You should be able to find a website that will have a listing of all the states in the United States and each one of those states will have a list of counties. And most of the time those counties, uh, in some of the larger counties out west, there may be two listings, uh, depending on what part of the county you're in. But here in the eastern part of the United States, uh, every county more or less has its own alert code. So then you would program that uh, same code into your National Weather Radio receiver. Now, how you do that is going to vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. Usually it's fairly straightforward. Once you have this system set up, it's, it's a powerful system. Uh, if you have a uh, weather alert or tornado warning, um, this particular radio, the Bearcat, has an alarm that goes off when it receives that encoding before it starts to play the National Weather Radio message. And that's good if I get an um, alert message at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm asleep, this radio will wake me up and I can listen and, and see uh, what the weather-related emergency or other emergency might be. We have uh, weather warning sirens in our neighborhood, but uh, they don't always work. Uh, this year they've been doing some work to them in the first week of March. Uh, and those are great to have, but you don't always hear them. I keep this in uh, my workspace uh, where I have my office here prepared for collapse. Uh, and this is always on and my office is in my home so I can hear this from where I sleep. But National Weather Radio uh, with same alerting is a great tool to have. Uh, they've been expanding the capability. This year the National Weather uh, Service or the uh, National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration is adding three new EAS codes, that's the Emergency Alert System codes, specifically for the Atlantic hurricane season in 2017. And those codes are going to be a uh, uh, extreme wind warning, uh, which means that you're likely to encounter winds in excess of 115 miles an hour. There's also going to be a storm surge watch and a storm surge warning. Storm surge watches will be issued for areas that are uh, potentially subject to inundation by hurricane storm surge 48 hours before the storm surge conditions are expected to be there. Uh, just like a hurricane uh, watch 
code. The second one would be the hurricane or the storm surge warning code, which is similar to the hurricane warning code. And that means that storm surge warning code means that you're likely to have storm surge uh, in areas that will be dangerous to human life within the next 36 hours. So I think it's a really a great thing. The National Weather Service has done a lot of work uh, to really try to uh, help people learn about uh, disasters and other emergencies. Um, the only thing it costs you, uh, aside from paying your taxes, uh, is uh, uh, the cost of a National Weather Service or National Weather Radio uh, receiver. Um, the ones with the same alert encoding are a few dollars more uh, than the ones that don't have it, but it's such a useful tool I'd highly recommend getting. Again, what I use is a Bearcat trunk tracking scanner. It is way more than you're going to have to, to spend. Um, you know, it's nice to have one at your office if you work in an office building. Uh, it's nice to have one in your home if you're a homemaker uh, near where your, your primary workspace is. And you also need one near where you sleep. Probably the most important place you can have an NWR uh, same alert receiver is next to where you sleep uh, because that can save your life. Um, you know, there, there are things that can tell us or warn us, you know, with our five senses when we look outside and we see dangerous weathers around. But while we're sleeping, our situational awareness is, is dramatically impaired compared to what it is when we're awake. So this is a, an excellent tool uh, to have to help you uh, become aware of weather emergencies. Now the caution is uh, they don't always work. Uh, the system is not perfect, uh, but I would much rather have this system in place and have the option uh, to have that warning and that information available to me uh, in my neighborhood uh, through this system. I think it's a great system even with its flaws and imperfections, I've had a wonderful experience with it, uh, and it's, it's helped me and my family on a number of occasions take shelter. Now, fortunately, we've never been adversely affected by a tornado. Uh, we have had some bad thunderstorms here. We have had some things we've had to take some action to uh, protect you know, our, our chickens and our animals and take shelter a few times, but uh, this radio has been a big part of, of helping us to do that and helping us to maintain our situational awareness. So if you have any questions or any other topics you guys would like me to cover or do a video on, uh, please leave a comment below. Um, you know, if you like what you're seeing, uh, subscribe, like, uh, and if you don't like what you're seeing, just offer me a suggestion. Uh, I always try to pay attention to what folks say, and I uh, hope to see you all later. Stay safe out there. Again, this has been Drew for Prepare for Collapse.